Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to another edition of Wes Unboxes, and we got the biggest episode to date. We're taking a look today at the Magic the Gathering Ixalan Deck Builders Toolkit. Um, this is going to be a new format of Wes Unboxes video. Well, I say format. It's a tweak on a format we already do. I'm excited to get into this. I hope you like the new tweaked format. We're actually going to open up this bad boy and do narration while we open it. I get some of my thoughts on the cards. I've been researching them a little bit, trying to figure out what are the good gets. If we get certain rares, how excited should we be? Uh, that type of thing. So Ixalan's been out about a month now. I just wanted to get this and dig in. We're going to talk about everything it comes with. We're going to show all the cards, talk a little bit about it while we're looking at it. So hope you guys enjoy this look at the Ixalan Deck Builders Toolkit. Welcome, welcome. Today we are looking at the Deck Builders Toolkit for the Ixalan expansion of Magic the Gathering. Look at that. It includes 285 cards. Awesome, awesome. Let's actually look and see what it comes with. So we're getting 125 semi-randomized cards, four 15-card booster packs from recent Magic the Gathering sets. I want to say it's Kaladesh, Amonkhet, and Ixalan, um, and all of the a uh, little like Aether Revolt and Hour of Devastation, things like that. So we get those 100 basic land cards, which is great because I need land cards. Deck Builder's Guide to Building the Best Magic Deck, a quick reference card, and a reusable card storage box, which is actually one of the reasons I bought this. I need a storage box. You know, we have our dual deck that we talked about. We have our, uh, I think, the two-player battle pack for the Amonkhet. And we, we need something to hold all of our stuff. And yeah, this retails for about $19.99 if you go to a local game shop or even big box retailers. I know some of them carry it like Walmart and Target. Uh, Best Buy, I think I've seen some too. So, But yeah, we're going to dig in, kind of see what we get with the pack and talk a little bit about it while we look at it. So the cool thing is I'm digging this box. Like I said, I needed a box. It has a good weight to it. It's like thick cardboard, which is good. Um, but if we bust this bad boy open, let's see what we get so we got this little <laughs> little filler thing right here uh, but you can see there's a lot of room so i'll actually be able to put in my dual decks right here and uh do some of that so first off we have our ixalan i think this is the how to build a deck oh yeah and it comes with this poster i'm actually probably going to hang this poster here in this office because we got all kinds of posters but it gives you kind of a basic rundown of what each color does um, and then, yeah, I think it does a full loadout of who the big five are. But yeah, so like making your deck, actually building it seems like a pretty cool little tutorial. Yeah, there we go. How to build a deck. And it goes kind of step by step on what to look for, uh, kind of what your gameplay style is. Cool. Uh, go right here, but then on the back, this is probably what I'm going to hang up in the, in the office it shows. The five colors, kind of what they do, and then the whole wheel, and you see the planeswalkers there. Cool stuff, very cool. And there, of course, you get these quick reference cards, which I guess they're okay, but now I have like five or six of them, because it comes with every magic uh, product that I've seen. And then, let's see, we have a basic land pack. Um, this is going to be, I guess, the semi-randomized cards. Right there, and then we have uh, Forsaken Sanctuary. Oh yeah, and here's uh, kind of the set of rares and kind of almost like an intro pack type thing. And then, yeah, I want to say one of these is another set of, maybe this one, yeah, another set of lands. You're going to have some more uh, like uncommon lands and things like that. Uh, dual lands right here. You see the two colors. So we got that, and then of course we got... Let's see, what is it? Two Ixalan packs, Amonkhet and Kaladesh. There we go. So we get the four right here. Now, I did say that this whole box of everything is 20 bucks. If we were to just do the math on this, this right here is worth $16 out of that $20 price tag. So, I mean, you're talking about you're getting commons and uncommons, dual lands, a uh, full kind of intro pack to get kind of buff stuff up with uh, commons. You get your land pack of 100 land. Uh, and then you get the semi-randomized 125 card 
uh, set base from Ixalan. So that's a hell of a deal. And I mean, the box, genuinely, like the box, I'm excited to be able to use this and be able to store my stuff because now it's starting to take up a lot of room on my desk and I don't know what to do. So <laughs> we're going to save these for last, actually. Um, so we're going to put those kind of off to the side right here. And first, I guess what we'll do is we'll just open up the lands, kind of look at those. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but I need lands. So for me, it kind of is the most exciting thing in the world because this is going to allow you to kind of build some of the decks you might be thinking about. And I mean, there's no full art lands from what I understand on this one. So it's just kind of your basic, you know, you got that, you got your islands, you got your swamps, kind of everything right there. Of course, your forests and yeah, everything's just kind of right there, all bundled in. Nothing too thrilling, but it's great that it comes with it. Because like I said, uh, it has 20 of each color, which is about the standard rate of making a standard pre-constructed deck. Um, I, I've seen some reviews where it says the only knock against the deck builder's toolkits is you don't get enough copies of the good cards. You get one of or two of, and in a deck, a dedicated deck, whether it's a one or two color, you would want you know three or four of certain cards. Uh, but if you're buying a deck builder's toolkit like me, you're a complete newbie, you just want to learn how to build a deck, have some decent cards to start with, or if you and a buddy want to both buy a deck builder's toolkit and then fight against each other with the cards only in there, uh, I think that's a that's a good shout. That's a good way to go. So let's see what this pack is. Because I want to say this is the other set of lands. It just comes with some dual lands as well. And if so, we can kind of... So yeah, you get Evolving Wilds. Oh no, so these are going to be the actual... Okay, some of the starter deck stuff. So, so we have an Evolving Wilds, and I want to say there's going to be about four of these in here. And it's going to break apart the different uh, structures. So if we got the Evolving Wilds, you got your River Sneak, Deep Root Waters, Vine Shaper Mystic, Kamina's Speaker. Oh, dang. Shapers of Nature. Nice uncommon. Shaper Apprentice. Shaper Apprentice. So we got some duplicates of that. Water Trap Weaver. Jade Guardian, River Herald's Boon. Okay, so that's that. I guess that was the green and blue kind of merfolk portion right there. So let's see what we get here. Here's another Evolving Wilds. Okay, some more blue. Oh, uh, Pirates. Gotcha. So we got Charter Course right here. Ruthless Knave. Dead Eye Plunderers, another Dead Eye Plunderers, Sailor of Means, Pirate's Prize, Contract Killing, another Contract Killing, Desperate Castaways. Okay, so that was the Pirates section. So what was that? Blue and Black, I guess right there. So overall, I'm really loving the art so far on all these cards. Um, it's really cool. So another Evolving Wilds. And now we're... Oh, Vampire. Here we go. So Duskborn Sky Marcher. Vicious Conquistador. Bishop of the Bloodstained. Nice. Call to the Feast. Another Call to the Feast. Bishop's Soldier. Queen's Commission. Sky March Bloodletter. Anointed Deacon. That's a cool card. Another one. Cool. All right. So that was the vampires. So what do we got left? We got uh, dinosaurs, right? I think so. Ha! So we had Evolving Wilds. Charging Monstrosaur. Raptor Hatchling. Atsakan Archer. Ranging Raptors. Raging Swordtooth. Sun Crowned Hunters, another Sun Crowned Hunters, Chandra's uh, Pyro Helix, Ravenous Dagger Tooth, Ravenous Dagger Tooth, and that's it. So, yeah, it kind of breaks out. I like the fact that it kind of breaks those out, um, it separates them out. That way, if you have a specific type of you know tribe, because this is very tribal based. 
if you want a specific tribe, um, you can actually just start with that pre-constructed stuff right here. Kind of mix and match, see what you're going for on that. So yeah, pretty cool little deal right there. Now I think this might be the other land. Um, the other land portion, let's see. Because I see the duels right there. All right, so that Forsaken Sanctuary, Highland Lake, another Highland Lake, another Forsaken Sanctuary, Fowl Orchard, Fowl Orchard, Stone Quarry, really cool, Woodland Stream. Submerged Boneyard. That's a good name. That's a good name for a card. Cinder Barrens. Yeah. Timber Gorge. Tranquil Expanse. Meandering River. And then, yeah, I think we got the... Yeah, some more plains, some islands, swamps... Uh, mountains, forests, yes, yeah, more plains, swamp, anything outrageous on those? No, nope. looks pretty standard right there. Okay, cool. So yeah, glad we got a lot of the combinations of the dual lands right here. Plus that, I think, comes out to the full 100 basic lands. And then we get our commons and uncommons. So this actually has the five rares that kind of everyone knows from... 2017 starter things um, so if you go like get an intro deck at a local game store you're probably going to get one of these um, that has at least one of these rares on here so we have of course victory's herald sphinx of magosi nightmare so i'm really happy to own this i just love the art on this it reminds me of frank frazetta and all that kind of concept art stuff very very cool then Sheevan Dragon, which apparently is like the card. It's like the jam. It's a, a staple of Magic the Gathering. And then uh, Garruk's Horde, which we have. God, how many do we have of these now? I think we got this in every single pack we've opened. So I want to say I have four of these. <laughs> four or five. So, all right. So those are the... Uh, well, there we go. Let's see. Is that uncommon? Yeah. So Imperial Aerosaur. That's cool. Danto Vanguard for Uncommon. Inspiring Cleric. Cast Out. Raptor Companion. Raptor Companion. Territorial Hammer Skull. Fragmentize. Compulsory Rest. Angler Drake. Uncommon right there. Chart a course. Perilous Voyage. Supreme Will. That's a good looking card. Unsummon. Another Unsummon. Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce. Essence Scatter. Water Trap Weaver. Doomfall. Gifted Aetherborn. Kite Cell Freebooter. Walk the Plank. There it is. Good old Walk the Plank. Dire Fleet Hoarder. Dire Fleet Hoarder. Contract Killing again. Supernatural Stamina. Duress. Scarab Feast. Ugh. Charging Monstrous Sword again. Cool. A Wily Goblin. A Braid. Lightning Strike. Apparently this is like the thing for Ixalan, is Lightning Strike is one of those cards that everyone uses. It's just really, really good. I mean, Lightning Strike deals three damage to target creature or player for one in a, in a uh, mountain. So not bad. Not bad at all. Nest Robber. Uh, Fathom Fleet Firebrand. Say that three times fast. Frenzied Raptor. Pursue Glory. Shock. Another shock. Alright, and then Savage Stomp. 
Merfolk Branch Walker, Arborak, Arborback. Yeah, I said that wrong. Arborback Stomper. Blossoming Defense, Tishana's Wayfinder, Druid of the Cowl, another Druid of the Cowl, Prey Upon, Colossal Dreadmaw, Dissenter's Deliverance, Unclaimed Territory. Cool. Pirate's Cutlass. Pirate's Cutlass. Hierophant's Chalice. Prophetic Prism. And Sunscorched Desert. Yeah. Good deal right there. So that is kind of the pre-made stuff that comes essentially with every... Or I say every, but... uh. Yeah, pretty much every one of these deck builders boxes. Let me get those right there and set those aside. Now we're getting to the mamma jamma, the the fun of cracking open packs, seeing what we get. So we're gonna do it in what would it be a uh, descending order? So uh, the latest or the the oldest first, and then is that ascending or descending? Who knows? Um, but we will do it oldest first, and then work our way up to Ixalan. So we will go Kaladesh first so we will see now i've done some research on the ixalan stuff so please let me know in the comments if i get any awesome good cards because <laughs> like we'll take a look at the rares and uncommons and all that good stuff but i'm not sure what kind of the best cards of you know kaladesh and uh Amonkhet are ixalan i've done a little more research so i know a few that i want to look out for but with these just let me know in the comments if they're any good so we got Wayward Giant, Tasseled Dromedary, Revolutionary Rebuff, Thriving Grubs, so these are common so far, Ornamental Courage, Fortuitous Find, Pima Outrider, yeah that's pretty cool. Workshop Assistant, Glint Sleeve Artisan, Eager Construct, Aetherborn Marauder, that's uncommon, ooh, Cloud Blazer, that's cool, an uncommon, Consulate Surveillance, uncommon, Midnight Oil, ooh, a rare, Look at that, a little shiny stuff down there. And then we get our basic planes, and then a servo, a token creature. There you go. Every time I see servo, I think of Tom Servo from Mystery Science Theater. So that was our Kaladesh pack right here. Um, and actually, let me put the uh, rares over here, and we can look at the rares one more time. So now we have Amonkhet. So I will always have a soft spot for Amonkhet because it was the, the current um, expansion for whenever I first bought Magic the Gathering cards. So when I say I'm brand new, guys, I mean I am brand spanking new. So here we go. Cartouche of Knowledge. Brute Strength. Sacred Cat. Cancel. Blighted Bat. Haze of Pollen, Naga Vitalist, Trespasser's Curse, Compulsory Rest, Winds of Rebuke, now we're getting to the Uncommons, Trial of Strength, Bone Picker, Merciless Javelinier, that's cool, Mythic, Vizier of the Menagerie, Oh, you may look at the top card of your library. You may do this at any time. You may cast the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast a creature spell. Dang, that seems pretty good. <laughs> that seems pretty legit, man. So we'll set that over here. And then, of course, we got our planes. And then we got our, uh, oh, like a little stack card right there, a little counter card. Cool. All right. Now let's get to the, the current day stuff. We got two more packs to open, uh, both of Ixalan. So let's do this Vampire Conquistador pack first. Take a look, see, see what we get. 
I do enjoy the vibe of vampire conquistadors. I think that's a really kind of novel idea. I think it's pretty cool. Speaking of, here's Queen's Commission. Blightkeeper. Fathom Fleet Firebrand. Sailor of Means. Spike-tailed Ceratops. Anointed Deacon. I'm glad that we're getting multiples of stuff that we already got in kind of the pre-made. You know, the 125 slightly random. I'm glad that we're getting duplicates. It's going to help out um, whenever we build our deck. Stormfleet Pyromancer. Siren's Ruse. Jungle Delver. Raptor Companion. Okay, now we're back to the uncommons. Wily Goblin. Emergent Growth. Air Elemental. And a rare Arcane Adaption. As Arcane Adaption enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control are the chosen type in addition to their other types. The same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. Nice little enchantment there. And then... Ah, mark this card to represent a deal. Let's see, and a, a treasure token right here. So, were any of these dual-sided? Can't... I don't think so. No? Okay. So just uh, kind of a counter card, I guess. Right there. Or something to keep tabs. So we got our last pack right here. Look at that angry guy with a metal fire whip. That's pretty kick-ass. So we got this. Hey, another bishop's soldier. Has a lifelink. Pretty good. Whoop. March of the Drowned. Right, or Ryle, excuse me. So that Ryle. Commune with Dinosaurs. Storm Sculptor. Spell Pierce. Ritual of Rejuvenation. Wind Strider. Fire Cannon Blast. Spreading Rot. Yeah, that's another good name, man. That's my heavy metal band right there. Ruthless Knave. Okay, so we're back to uncommons now. Was that last card there? No, that was a common. Okay. So, Ruthless Knave, uncommon. Pillar of Origins. Emissary of Sunrise. A Dowsing Dagger. This is our rare. When Dowsing Dagger enters the battlefield, target opponent creates a zero, creates two zero two green plant creature tokens with Defender. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus one. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, you may transform Dowsing Dagger. Lost Veil land. Transform from Dowsing Dagger. Add three mana of any one color to your mana pool. Dang. That's pretty good. So let's set that right over that way. All right, we got another... Uh, replacement card right here. You can mark this card to represent a double face card in your library or hand. And then uh, just a dinosaur token. What's up, buddy? All right. Good deal. So, yeah, we will kind of look at these uh, rares again. Good stuff. So, the most recent pack that we opened. And then we'll just work back down to the oldest. So, that Dowsing Dagger, cool double sided right there. Um, very nice to have that one. Arcane Adaption, same thing. Not double-sided, but hey, cool enchantment, right? Then Vizier, Vizier of the Menagerie. So you have that. Very nice. And then Midnight Oil. Really cool one right there. All right, and guys, that is the look of the Deck Builder Toolkit. I like the, the fact that this box has the side parts that you can actually like close, you know, um, if I can actually close it, look at me being foolish, um, but yeah, I'm glad it has this as kind of the setup for it, um, because it also, I'm probably going to even re-sleeve it like here, but this way, I mean, I got a whole bunch of cards now, so <laughs> just take a look at everything that comes in this pack, I mean, you got some doozies, right, some absolute doozies, in regards to how many cards there are. Um, let me get all these stacks right here. 
And I mean, all this for kind of just 20 bucks, right? Those are the cards that we opened. Here is some of the uncommon stack, I think. And then you got this set of lands. Then you got this set of lands. I mean, in my opinion, pretty good value, especially if you're just kind of starting out like I am. That's a great way to get a whole lot of cards, get some bulk, get some commons, get some pretty good uncommons that are current and standard, plus your really good rares. Um, and hey, we got a mythic out of the deal too, so not too shabby, not at all, but this has been the Deck Builders Toolkit. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if any of these cards are kind of the jam, because I do plan on doing a little project later down the line, building my first deck, and you guys are definitely invited. Uh, just let me know what you think of the show. You know where to find me. You can hit me up on Twitter and Facebook and Twitch, all at Hobo as the username. So go check me out right there. I do appreciate the support, guys. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to dig into some more magic very soon. But yeah, very excited to have this. Very, very cool. You get a lot for your money. So uh, yeah, until next time, guys. We'll see you later on Wes Unboxes. Peace.